Hello fellow Hi-Fi enthusiasts, welcome to another Generation Behind Hi-Fi video. Today I thought it'd be fun to take a peek inside an SVS PB2000 subwoofer to see how it is constructed. There won't be a lot of commentary in this video, it'll just be me with some tools taking the subwoofer apart. Hopefully this video will give you an idea of the build quality and construction on this series of subwoofers. Holy cow, I had a heck of a time trying to get that subwoofer to separate from the cabinet. I actually had to remove the amplifier first so I could gain access to the subwoofer from behind. I then carefully pushed on the back of the subwoofer to remove it from the cabinet. It took some time, but it finally came out. This is a good shot of the punch vent holes into the voice coil former and cone. Without these holes under the dust cap, a small acoustic chamber would be created. This acoustic chamber would generate air pressure as the cone moves back and forth over the pole piece, causing detrimental effects on the speaker's operation.
Sadly, the PB2000 was just too large to have in our living room, so I sent this one back and kept my SB2000. However, I did like the performance from the PB2000. It did provide a few dB more in output over the SB2000 during movies, but didn't seem to blend as well with music when compared to my SB2000. If you are a bass junkie who primarily watches movies, then the PB2000 is probably the subwoofer you want. The ported box design does hit a little harder and you do feel the bass a bit more in your chest over my SB, but for music, it seemed overpowering and hard to blend with my main speakers. Since we primarily use our living room system for music, I decided to keep the smaller SB2000 as it blended better with my mains and the few dB less in output during movies won't bother me much. Honestly, I don't think you can go wrong with either subwoofer and I suggest you try them both out. SVS has a generous in-home trial period that will help you make your own decision on which subwoofer is right for you. Hopefully this video will give you an idea of the quality that goes into making one of these subwoofers. If you'd like to see more videos like this, make sure you hit that like button. So long and happy listening.